in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So, just getting some coffee. Um, we're going to get ready to do some farming. Um, so, as you can see, we are here in FS19. Uh, we got some soybeans growing here. I'll give you guys kind of the rundown here. We're running fields 19... Uh, 14, 15, 19, 24, 25, and 26. They are all planted in soybeans, and they are all getting close to being ready for harvest. Um, they do need one more round of fertilizer, which we will do. Um, let's see, I'm not sure if I want to do the fertilizer now. We could just as well do it, um, get it done with here. And then after that, then I'll give you guys a rundown of the equipment that we're running. Uh, I haven't cheated any money in on this save game or anything. Uh, I'm running with money that I've made. Uh, I started the save game, and I farmed with the equipment that there was. And I planted around the soybeans on the three fields, or the four fields here. Um, I didn't have the two faraway fields yet. Uh, shit. That's not what I want it to be doing. But whatever. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, spray. We'll give it another round of fertilizer. Um, yeah, and so I sold all the crops that uh, were starting on the game. Uh, or like in the storage when I started the save game. I sold all of those crops, and then I also, um, uh, sold all of the machines that I had started with, and I bought, I took out some loan, that's about all that I've done, is taken out a loan, and I bought some all new equipment. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the spraying taken care of here. That way our crops will be fully fertilized uh, the reason I planted soybeans is because I wanted to make the most money that I can right now and soybeans are the highest paying crop um, at the moment I believe that they are like three thousand uh, dollars a liter or ton however they're measuring that I should have turned the crop destruction off to spray is what I should have done. Oh well. Just roll with it. So I have been doing some live streams lately. Uh, I know some of you guys have been watching them. Um, I would do some more, but uh, I do not have internet right now. Um, I'm actually, to upload these videos, I'm going to be going to a buddy's house and uh, using his internet to upload um, so I won't be doing live streams all that much anymore uh, at the moment we'll see what happens in the future if I find a way that I can kinda do some live streams um, but for right now we'll be just doing the videos um, I had made a video when I was driving to move back home I had made a video for, of that with my GoPro. Uh, it was going to be a time lapse video as I was driving. But something went corrupt in the files. I don't exactly know what went corrupt or what happened. So I just deleted it. Um, kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping to upload that. Um, if you've seen the live streams, you know that I was working on a map for FS19 called Cattail Farms. Um, I had put that in game and it crashes right away uh, so I don't know what the deal is there at the moment I once I'm at my buddy's house with internet I'm gonna download a couple of different starter maps and see if it's just my starter map is bad or uh, see what the deal is there it could just be that the starter map is bad or something so um, 
I'll have to find out. Because even the blank starter map won't load into the game, so... Okay, we need to turn the crop destruction off. I'm going to lose like half of my crop right now. Not very realistic to not have it go away, but I don't want to lose this much crop. We're going to go ahead and throw a dip in here. For those of you that don't know, yes, I do dip. And for those that haven't heard, it is Copenhagen Wintergreen. That is my dip of choice. Or dip of preference. My preferred dip, I guess you could say. The sprayer definitely makes the uh, spraying go by quick. It'd be nice if you could drive a little faster than six miles an hour with it, but it still gets the job done. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and finish this spraying. Oh, shoot. Forgot to set my timer. We'll go ahead and finish this spraying and then we'll sleep until the next morning and see what, uh, what our crops growth status is okay so they are 100% fertilized now and we'll head up to our other two fields Hazards and beacons on here. <clears throat> it's definitely a trek to get up to these other fields. Either you go up this mountainside or you take the long way around. Or you gotta go all the way through the town. So I just take the mountain. Not so sure how well that's going to work with the combine and the headers, but I do have header trailers for both headers, so. That's helpful always. It's like that elevator's all lit up. Feel the cotton there. And this isn't our field, but the next two are. So we're going to kind of drive over this guy's field here. Oh boy, this ain't going to be fun. Hmm. This really is not going to be fun because I'm not going to be able to tell where I've gone and where I haven't. Oh well. Just going to have to go with it. Just gonna have to send it, I guess. We should have enough uh, fertilizer left in this tank for it. Turn all of our lights off now. So I've had a lot of people asking, um, in like, like messaging me on Instagram or something like that. Um, saying, oh, you know, what do you think of FS19? What are your impressions? I mean, it's it's another game. I'll put it that way. Uh, there are some nicer things about it. Some things that are the same. 
some things they could have done better. It's the usual FS game. That's basically what I'll say. Um, I mean, it's a game without mods at the moment. Or, well, it has mods, but not mods like 17 has. Um, I do actually play 17 a lot yet. Just for the simple fact of there not being a whole lot of mods out for 19 yet. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to make a map for 19. Because then I could at least have something different than the standard maps to play on. Because the standard equipment isn't all that bad. You know, like this John Deere tractor isn't bad. This sprayer is not bad. Like the, the standard equipment isn't half bad. It is nice having John Deere in-game. I mean, we've had it as mods for ages, but it is kind of nice to have John Deere playing right off the bat. Um, it's definitely a big difference, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a bad game. Um, I know there's many other people that have said this too. I wish that Giants would just stick to one game. And just continuously update it, release more DLCs for it, and just, like, have better mod support and stuff. Rather than, you know, all of us people that make mods and maps and all that. Well, we sit here and, oh, you know, every two years we gotta learn all over. Or basically, like, how the new game works. So it gets to be kind of a pain. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is, so to speak. I don't know. But, okay, let's go right here and go down. I know when I sprayed this the first time, I got it in three passes, but because I can't tell where I have and haven't gone, I'm just going to go. I'm going to do a lot of overlap just to make sure I get everything. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if they just kept to one game and just continuously, like, did updates to the game to make it better. Rather than release a new game every couple years. But that's how they make their money, I guess. They gotta make their money somehow. <clears throat> uh, I am playing on Ravenport. If I didn't, I didn't mention that, I don't think, but... Um, I know it's obviously in the title of the video, so. I'm not doing any animals at the moment. I may do animals in the future. Um, if anybody knows where the cattle go on this map, uh, feel free to let me know because I have no idea. Um, I don't really know where you would put them. I'm sure there's an area for them, but I have no idea where that area is. I didn't even know where the farm was at first. Um, I did a live stream the day I downloaded this game. Kind of a my first impression kind of thing. Um, so like the first time I fired the game up it was on a live stream. And I did the medium setting. Because right now I'm on easy. Because then it starts you with all your buildings and everything. So I started on easy. Or on medium in the live stream. And so it didn't give me any buildings or anything. And I had no idea where the buildings went. Or anything like that. So. Um, I decided for like a save game to play on. I was going to do easy so I had buildings. So I kind of knew like how they had them set up and stuff. Alright so we're done with the fertilizer. So now we'll head on back to the farm. And then we'll go ahead and sleep. Now that's one feature about the new game that I really, really like. The th one thing that I really do not like at all is having to place your animals. Rather than them just, you know, having pens and stuff. I would assume making a modded map you can still put animals in the same way as 17. I would assume... Um, I'm kind of hoping 
that you can still do it that way. Otherwise, it'll probably be kind of a pain in the butt. Although, I mean, there's ways to get around it. Uh, what I could do is just, you know, import the placeable cattle um, from the in-game folders. Import that into my map and put it where I want it. And then I can just copy those coordinates, go in-game, place the cow pasture, and then I can, um, whoa, then I can go into the XML file and just edit the coordinates for that uh, placeable and have it go where it's supposed to. But a sucky thing about having to do that would be that... I have to use the in-game barn thing and I really would rather use like a barn that I've had or like a barn that's been in 17 because there's a lot of nice barns that were released as objects for 17. So we're going to go ahead and park the tractor and then we'll go sleep and then in daylight I'll show you guys all the equipment that we've got. Go ahead and turn that off. And then we'll run into the house here. Alright, sleep for... We'll do eight hours. Alright, so we're here at six o'clock. So we're going to speed up time a little bit. Oops, wrong button. I'm going to speed up time a little bit here. So our soybeans should be just about ready. Let's take a look here. I do like the new escape menu. I like how they have it set up. So like our John Deere is down to 63% maintenance. Um, you know, and all that stuff. I like the menu. I wish they had these labeled. I mean, I can kind of tell what they are. Wheat, barley, canola. Or no, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans. I don't, this must be that, uh, oh, what is it? That is cotton. I mean, so it's got them all listed here. So you can look at the icon and okay, it's, you know, like the so soybean icon. You can go through, okay, soybeans. I mean, they're kind of, you can kind of tell. So we are just about fully grown. So we'll keep the time going here while we walk through. So we have the biggest in-game pickup. I got kind of grayed out rims and it got it in red. And then we have the Mahindra Retriever. Uh, these are actually a very fun machine in real life. Uh, the dealership I used to work at didn't sell the Retrievers. They sold the Mahindra Roxer, which is basically the Mahindra version of the um, Willy's Jeep. So we got that. Um, I got a placeable Meridian seed tank, and then we got the liquid tank up there. I didn't really put it in that great of a spot, but oh well. So we got the John Deere... 625x and the 608c we got both of them on header trailers and in here so i'm kind of running about a medium sized farm uh, we got the t560i so we got the crawler tracks on that and then here we got the uh horse uh cultivator and we got the Lemkin Solitaire 12 uh, drill. We got the Vatterstad Tempo L corn planter. So I'm just going to say this now. I refer to these as corn planters. Uh, like I refer to these as corn planters. So we're running the biggest one of those. But um, I refer to them as corn planters. I know they're not technically only for corn, but... I still refer to them as that. All right, and our crops are fully grown. And then obviously we have the Kuhn uh, Metris 4102 sprayer. And then we got the big Joskin Transpace uh, trailer. 
And then we have the uh, 7310R John Deere here. So, we'll go ahead and get set up for harvest here. See if I can get around to the front of the combine here. Get fired up. I like the sound on this combine. It's very nice. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this over here by uh, this field up here. We'll just put it right here for now. We'll shut the engine off. And we'll walk over to the pickup and get our header. I had tried using the Mahindra uh, to uh, pull the header trailers at first and that did not work at all. That thing's way too low to the ground and the trailers just go straight down. Kind of sucked. So we'll go ahead and grab our Draper header here. Or not Draper header, but we'll grab our header. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to sell that and move it to a different spot. Because that's not a very good spot for it. There we go. We'll grab this. We'll get it unfolded. We'll get our header hooked up here. We're off a little bit. We'll go ahead and pull the header trailer out. Perfect. And we're going to put this just right here for the time being. Because we'll need it once we're done with uh, the field over there. I was going to point at the screen, but that wouldn't really do anything because you guys can't see that. Okay, so we got that. We'll grab the trailer here in a little bit. We'll go ahead and do some combining. I do like that they have chop straw standard now. That is kind of nice. So now you don't have to add it into maps and everything. See how's our header look, or our reel? Come down just a little bit. Oh, I never noticed that it shows the crop on the uh, on the monitor there, and the fill level. That's nice. I like that it shows that. We get a screenshot here. I do have a mod called Double Yield to try and help the yield out a little bit because the yield definitely is not very great standard. Uh, even like these are 100% fertilized and it's still not filling very fast. But I wish it showed like the yield on the monitor here. That'd be kind of nice if it showed that, too. Sadly, it doesn't. This isn't a bad combine for being, like, a European combine. It's 
So my goal is um, to harvest all these soybeans and sell them. I do have a little bit in storage still uh, because I, when I was selling before, I had a little trailer. Actually, I had two trailers. I had two of these, and I had them set to 8,000 liter capacity. You can go to 12. Come on. Mm. I didn't know you could do a loading wagon out of it, too. But yeah, I had, them, I had two of them at 8,000 liter capacity. And I didn't quite... I only had 4,000 liters left. I wasn't going to make a trip just on 4,000. So, right now the highest play, paying place is the Central Grain Elevator. They're paying $2,377 um, a liter. So, I mean, it's not too bad. But, um, yeah, I'm going to sell all the soybeans. And I want to buy another field. Um, probably field 16. This field right here. What's in it? Canola. Hmm. I didn't know that there was actually crop in that field. But, uh, yeah, I would like to get another field. If possible, after harvest is over. Hmm. I don't know why it's not picking that up. Okay, so we're going to dismiss that timer. We're going to go ahead and finish this field and then I'll end the video. And then the next video we'll take care of uh, some more harvest. I would like to get another tractor at some point too, but that can wait a little bit. Because it'd be kind of nice if, uh, you know, I could have another tractor and I could have it running the cultivator behind the combine. That'd be kind of nice to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to hit stop recording and then right away start another episode. Um, so th today is Thursday for me. You're seeing this on Friday. I'm going to have videos out Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, this weekend. So I'm going to have three videos out. Um, and actually what I'm going to be doing is there will be today's video, which will be 19. Um, and then tomorrow, Saturday, will be FS17. And then Sunday will be FS19 again. Um, I'm going to kind of switch between the two for a while. Um, until, you know, some more good stuff starts coming out for 19 here. Um, but, yeah. So that is going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Make sure you hit that little bell. Turn on the notifications for any time I upload a new video. And, uh, as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video.